Hi everyone, welcome to UPSC CSAT classes in Spurti. So first of all, uh, I'm going to explain one previous equation recently asked from number systems chapter. Based on this, how to how to guess uh, CSAT questions? I'll be giving one example also. Okay, shall look at this. This is very popular concept, you know, taking two digit number and reverse number, adding them, difference. This is very popular concept, you must be knowing this. Look at this. Let x be a two digit number and y is another two digit number formed by interchanging the digits of x, means it is reverse number. If x plus y is the greatest two digit number, greatest two digit number then what is the number of possible values of x? Yeah, good question. Look at this. Let us say x equal to a, b. What are a and b? Digits. So its value will be 10 a plus b, right? Because a is located at 10 place, 10 a plus b. Y is b a, 10 b plus a. Now, sum. 10a plus a, 11a, b plus 10b, 11b, 11 is common. Sum equal to 11 into a plus b, which is equal to 99. What is a plus b? 9. What is the meaning of a plus b? Sum of digits of that number equal to 9. Hmm. What is next step? Question is about how many values are possible for x? Based on this, how to find numbers? Yeah, this is what important. From this, we can guess first number is equal to 18, right? Why I am taking 18? Because 1 plus 8. What is 1 plus 8? 9. 18 reverse number is 81 sum equal to 99 actually no need of cross verification just you have to satisfy this that's all second one 27 third one 36 fourth one 45 for this question few answered option b only four numbers which is wrong answer which is wrong answer then what is right answer? Why only 18? Maybe others will take 81 also. Yeah. If they take 81, reverse number 18, sum also equal to 99. It means 81, fifth case. Sixth one 72. Seventh one 63. Eighth one 54. Total 4 plus 4, 8 numbers exist for this, 8 numbers. Answer is option D. Chalo. For CSAT exam, see wherever we go, number systems means this is the standard syllabus, not only in UPSC CSAT even in CAT exam, same concepts, same concepts. Maybe level of difficulty may change, but in some questions, CSAT questions are bit related to only some sum, okay? Even for CAT exam, CAT questions also. In previous videos also, I shared many questions. Uh, UPSC got inspired from this CAT questions also, CAT exam. I'll show you one question that asked in CAT exam may be useful for our exam also. Just related to this, okay? Not a difficult one. Same, almost the same. I changed only this here. Sum equal to a perfect square. Excellent question. Then what is the number of values possible for x? 
already discussed sum equal to 11 into a plus b now. In previous example, sum is largest two digit number that is why we have taken 99. Here we need to take perfect square number, perfect square number. It means 11 into something is perfect square number means how to guess this value. Okay. You should have strong fundamentals. How you define perfect square number? Perfect square number. If a number is multiplied by itself, it is called, it becomes perfect square or power must be even. If power is even, it is called perfect square number. In this example, you can see already 11. 11 must be multiplied by 11 only to get, to get perfect square number which is 121. So, here number must be a perfect square number means 11 only multiplied with 11, 11 only multiplied with 11, then only it becomes perfect square number. Already we have 11, it means a plus b must be 11, a plus b must be 11, right? Uh. What is this meaning a plus b is equal to 11? Sum of digits, sum of digits must be equal to 11. Take some examples. First example, uh, I will go in order, okay? 29. What is 2 plus 9? 11. Second one, 38. 47. 56. Over. Hmm. Always in this type of questions, my suggestion is always go in order like 2, 9, 2 is over, then 3, then 4, then 5, so that you do not miss a single number. I can see few answer in that exam also again 4, but which is wrong answer because you can take this numbers also 92 plus 29. If I take 92, 92 plus 29 also 121. 83, 74, 65. Total 8 cases. Okay. So, maybe this question or question will be useful for you. Chalo. When you practice question, some take some time to guess the future questions also, so that it will help you to handle any type of question in the exam. Okay, chalo. So, guys, these are the wonderful results we got from previous batches. Super duper results. Okay, more than 80, 85 percentage success rate we have with uh, limited number of uh, students in our batches. So, we are going to start one CSAT foundation batch, which is the last one uh, for this prelims 2026. Uh, we are starting from January 16th, okay. So, in this, we are going to discuss foundation part, which is very, very important, like discussing all chapters and uh, concepts, okay. After that, we are going to solve previous equations, then test series also included, sectional line, full length papers, okay. You can contact us at any time, all the contact details given in the below. See you soon. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay.